She misses Joe so much. So do I, really. Oh no, don't do this to me. This doesn't sound like something. Oh, oh man. Suck. Nah. Just need to build up your calluses, that's all. Man. All right, come on. Is it? Yeah. Oh, shit. Wow. I'm gonna start guessing. You want to spoil your surprise now? Oh no. Is it a dinosaur? Stop trying to guess. I ain't telling you. <sighs> All right. Is it an elephant? <sighs> Is it a convertible? You're not gonna guess. Is it a puppy? Is it a lot of kittens? You mean a litter? What's a litter? A bunch of kittens. Why wouldn't you call it just a bunch of kittens? <laughs> I don't know what. It's called a litter. More walking, less talking. Mind your step. I got it. Oops. Ah! Whoa! I can swim now! <laughs> what is wrong with you? You should see your face right now. What am I drown? I you're not gonna drown. You gotta work on that confidence, kiddo. <laughs> is this the yeah, surprise? Keep laughing, old man. Let's see what happens. <laughs> this way. The worst. Your swimming's getting better. Remember now, don't just flail about. You Push gotta push the water with the whole arm. Blah blah blah. Glad to know I'm getting through. Yeah, I'm through. Hey, look, come here. Take a look at this. You see it? You see it? Where? Just through there. Look. Yeah. I see it. Yeah. He's gonna push me again. Looks like. Oh. How's that feel? Uh, refreshing. Yeah, it's not nice getting pushed in, is it? Well, actually, we need to swim through this part anyway. I got you back. You're angry and upset. I am very angry and upset. Now, come <laughs> on. <laughs> yeah, he sounds like it. Oh, I got a cannonball. You're going to need to dive under here. Take a deep breath. Yeah, I got this. I missed them together so much. Is it my sixth grade history teacher wanting to apologize for being a massive dick? I beg your pardon? My friend and I would argue whenever he called the Fireflies terrorists. We got a lot of detention. You know, you really need to stop letting people rile you up. It's hard when they're dicks. Point still stands. All right, got another dive over here. Where are you taking me? Pair of sneakers. How will we be here? Not enough. That looks slippery. It's probably gonna have to give me a hand here. There. Okay. Fuck it. I'm done guessing. Well, good. But. Like, is it a massive comic book collection? No, wait. A new DVD collection? <laughs> yes. That's a, which one? Just yes. 
about laser discs. I heard Whoa. Uh, holy shit, Joel. We're here. Oh my god, it is a dinosaur! <laughs> no fucking yeah, way. Joel! Surprise. Holy shit. Oh, it's a motherfucking dinosaur. I thought it was just supposed to be a joke. King of the tyrant lizards. That's a big boy. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> Joe said he's taking me on a camp camping trip next week for my birthday. He found something he says, uh, he says I'll love. He's acting very proud of. He's acting very proud of himself. Small gold foggy. Cat sat next to me at movie night. Our elbows kept touching. I think she was doing it on purpose. Maybe not. Probably not. Hmm. I think that's <laughs> it. That was that a typo first? Dina made me as crown for my birthday. She went back to that camp and got all this paper. It's pretty great. First we got. Farming rotation blows. I don't get why people ask for this assignment. Note to self: talk to Mama, talk to Mana about how, er, how early I can sign up for our patrol training. Dina and I found this cool old camp, camp, campground today. She said kids used to go there in the summers for fun. We found all these art supplies. I know I can just press square to read properly, but I kind of like to read this way. She cut out of the paper and made some crowns for us while we rained outside. It was a good day. She drew Dina. Uh, eyes and lips and all that. And Tommy and Joe. Cowboys. She drew the deer. She's learning really well. I'm just having Jurassic Park music in my head right now. I love this. Her eyes is on the dinosaur all the time. Oh, not anymore. So this is the natural museum. Oh, this is when when Ellie was uh, touring Joe's house. What's she this? Said, uh, it's a book. <sighs> it's a dinosaur book. Okay. All right. She said that that was a good day for a bunch of dinosaur stuff. I guess this is the day. Wyoming Museum. I wonder how faithful this is recreated. <clears throat> oh, hello. Sorry, the dinosaurs are busy right now. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, wait. One of the dinosaurs is here. Joel, it's for you. Very funny. <laughs> That's pretty funny. It is. Did you get it? It's because you're old. Oh, I get it. Yeah. Okay. Giants of the past. I kind of want to read this. This is like completely irrelevant, but fuck it. Step back through time to over 65 million years ago when dinosaurs and other prehistoric giants roamed the earth. In our giant's pavilion, you'll find full skeletons on display. See how it measure up next to our own tricep triceraptors. Winnie, and uh, don't forget to look up. There are pterodactyls circling. Afterward, head into our annexes to get hands on with 
fossils of footprints, feathers, and more. All right, can't wait. I'm a, I'm never really good with the dinosaur names. Triceraptors. Why are they called Winnie? Triceratops means three-horned face. Oh, that's how you pronounce them. The business end of that horn. Triceratops. Okay. Those the eggs. Triceratops. This is one I recognize. <laughs> Brachiosaurus ate 600 pounds of plants each day. Whew. Imagine the poops! Yeah, that's a big pile of shit. Whoa, this one's brain was the size of a walnut. No, no way. Looks like you two have something in common. Oh, <laughs> good one. What is that? This one looks like a bird. Well, actually, paleontologists believe the birds were descended from dinosaurs. Well, excuse me, Mr. Professor. I happen to know a thing or two. A lot of knowledge we take for granted today, after some apocalyptic event, will seem really strange to future generations. Look how thick this one's skull is. Kind of looks like Tommy. <laughs> I'm telling him you said that. Please don't. Catch it in the right light. Boom, Tommy. <laughs> this one is so small. Velociraptor. Oh, yeah. So small. I guess you can't trust the movies. I don't know, this seemed like the right the right size from the movies. I mean it's just a skull, it's like they didn't have what huge heads that? in the movie. <laughs> what about that? I really wanna stay and just uh, look at all this stuff. Okay, nothing here. I'm going upstairs. Did you go to museums a lot? Yeah. Yeah, Sarah loved them. I swear that girl dragged me to every damn museum in Texas. Extinction, it is still not fully understood what caused the mass extinction of the dinosaurs. However, most scientists agree that it was likely triggered by a large asteroid hitting the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico over 65 million years ago. An estimate uh, something 50.3 me in diameter. The Whoa. Did you know this was here? Oh, you don't like it. 
Um, we can head back. Uh, oh, shut up! Wow. This might be too much for a day. Are, are, oh. are we sure we're not gonna save some hey, for the go. next birthday? Can you name all the planets? <coughs> can you? My very educated mother just served us nice pizzas. Uh, did you just have a stroke? My Mercury. Very famous. <laughs> what? Mars. Oh, okay. I get it. That's pretty cool. That's a thing? I, I never knew that. And uh, we have eight planets here. So this is updated version. Hey, Joel, guess what the first animal to go to space was? I don't have to guess. That was a monkey. No, it was fruit flies. Yeah, in 1947. It was to see radiation exposure at high altitudes. Really? They lived through it. Dad gum girl, you are smart. Thanks. Did they become superfly? What? No. <laughs> Whoa. Tell me another fun fact. Hmm. Astronauts say the moon smells like gunpowder. That is a fun fact. How? Wait, how would they... Oh, well, they would take the moon samples back inside and smell them later, I guess. Okay. Well, see, that's all contaminated. You gotta go through all kind of contamination sequences before they can hold them in their hands. So okay. It's not gonna be What's accurate. Next? You tell me. Uh, quiz me. <laughs> I don't know. Who was the first person in space? Oh, it's easy. Yuri Gagarin. Gagarin? Is that Gagarin? I don't know how you say it. I've only read it, so... Anyway. That's a lot of... He flew to space on April 12th, 1961. Color me impressed. Yeah, there's the... How many books have you read about this? Space competition. Come on, Joel. Isn't that incredible? <laughs> Why don't you tell me what you like about it? Hmm... I don't know. People in your time... They... Had it easy. Hmm. I guess relatively speaking, sure. I mean, they didn't need to go to space, but they did it anyway. It's ballsy. <laughs> ballsy. Thank you. Know. Now I get it. That's one good way to look at it. I do seem to remember Ellie saying if there wasn't a, this outbreak, she would want to become an astronaut. I'm not entirely sure if that conversation happened. Whoa, what's this? Oh, just to sketch it. Sketch the chair? Mm -hmm. Oh, one day. Oh, is this going? Well, if, if you are old and dying one day, Ellie, you could call on those scientists from To The Moon and get them to fulfill your wish. What's this way? We can't leave here yet. Still a lot of stuff to explore. Oh, shit. Okay. Like the moon buggy. <sighs> I don't think yeah. we're allowed to do that, are we? Where's the steering wheel? Rovers don't use steering wheels. Oh, it's a rover. They use joysticks. Huh. Hang on. Here's the real one. <laughs> well, considering they left the real ones on the moon, I would say no. <laughs> <laughs> Satellites.
What are these? Shadow, uh, space shadow tiles. Cool. Space artifacts. Well, we got a mask and a microphone or a dildo. I don't know. Hey, did you know that the heat shields of space shuttles are made of sand? I did not. Thought it was some kind of thick rubber. Nope. Sand. Really? You're welcome. You know how many times we've been to the moon? Uh, twice. Six times. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I looked that, that up sense. too. But we haven't been doing that for a very long time, just be mostly because there's no need. Space, you're gonna need a helmet. Oh, right. Yeah, what was I thinking. Uh, kind of have to choose one. So, which one do you think? Kind of like this. The color of this one is pretty nice. <laughs> so cool. I just picked a <laughs> helmet of Gemini. Like space and dust. Okay, I'm all set. I got a helmet. Nothing else needed. Watch your head. That's that's not what the helmet is for. <laughs> what the heck? You don't have your helmet, Joe. Okay. <laughs> Happy birthday, kiddo. More surprise? This is a thing that took a mighty effort to find. Take it. You're gonna... S Joe, you gotta keep it a little bit in control here. We're gonna run out of things for the next birthday. Close your eyes. It, it'll be worth it. Okay. That was a doozy.
not do okay. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, kiddo. Say we uh, keep looking around, huh? Yeah, I guess. You have more stuff? Can I craft a, f a, a ball of tough right here? Don't have anything but our journal. I guess we are. We've done this room. I guess we can go on to the next town. Here. Museum stuff over there. Yeah, I never checked out that building. Well, let's go. And just how do you plan on getting yourself over there? Swim. Okay, here goes. Get down here. No. Hey, whose birthday is it? You can't keep doing that. I want a good splash. We've got more exploring to do. I don't know, man. Geronimo! Whoa. <laughs> nice. Uh. I don't know. This this part is unexplored, so it, there, there could be some danger. Because I don't think you're ki you're have your piece on you for nothing. Natural history. Center. Oh, let's go. Hey, who's being there? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll open the door for you. Come on, we can't chicken out now. news there's uh -huh. shit blocking the door well see if you can find me another way in i'll i'll walk around the outside okay be safe you be safe there are dinosaurs around how about we take one of these <clears throat> i could just play this forever i could just Let's forget about the revenge stuff. Let's just do this forever. Holy. I killed for them. That's not a good sign. Stay strong, buddy. Oh, yeah. Surrounded by wolves. Maybe that's a little bit of metaphor of what we're do dealing with now. Bison. Big corn. This guy needed a hug. This guy is probably still here. It's dark in here. Okay, so this memory sequence is not just uh, whimsical. 
and magical. Things are gonna go to shit. That's a lot of birds. The four soldiers at the gate. The last one cried. The fuck? Oh, shit. Well, Biomies of North America. I don't think um, I want to read that right now. Whoa! Don't do that. Uh, the woman we tortured checked on her own, choked on her own blood. That's very informative. Thank you for writing that down in the museum. Come on, fucker. The stragglers who snuck into camp—they just. They just uh, wanted food. The kid who ran into the blast, I couldn't stop him. The people in the van. We lock them in and uh, dosed it with gas. What is wrong with you? Just in general. Oh, butterflies. There is no light. Well, yeah, you're gonna need some fireflies if you want light, right? I mean, firefly samples, not, not firefly fireflies. We wanted to end the suffering, we wanted to restore humanity. Each time we sacrificed a part of ourselves, our leaders kept saying it would be worth it. Now we've disbanded with nothing to show for our sins. I thought coming here might reignite something, some purpose. My parents loved bringing me here. It's one of my earliest memories from being from before the outbreak, before all of the cruelty and the savagery. Those memories just made me angrier. I don't want to be in this world, world anymore. I can't look at the person I've become. And he died here. Okay, so if he's the guy that's been leaving marks, then what have you been hearing this whole time? Oops. Stupid fake animals. <laughs> Was that even real? <sighs> Liars. I'm in here! The hell was it? It's just some animal. Well, that animal is... Oh. Well, let's get a move on. I want to get a fire going before it gets too dark. That's why this the guy wrote there is no light because the firefly said look to the light. <sighs> Seattle day 2. Back to the harsh reality. We should probably check on our girlfriend. <sighs> oh, 
Oh, I can. Of course, I can also practice. You know, and, and those can wait. Static can wait. Radio can wait. You fix it. It was a loose connection. Antenna. They found our mess at the school. Good. This guy, Owen. He went a wall. Maybe Tommy got to him. Maybe. What about her? Nothing yet. Unit Romeo, you are requested at site two. Repeat, you are requested at site two. Confirm. So, the numbers are locations. The TV station we were at, that's six. There's a lot of chatter coming out of two, so I'm assuming that's their home base. Where's 14? Uh, not a hundred percent sure. Okay, then guess. Uh, if this is seven, 12's all the way over here. I guess it's somewhere in this neighborhood. Oh, Crest. Okay. Dina gonna be okay to travel though. Dina? Yeah. Not good. <laughs> hey. I'll go get him. You keep tracking them, okay? Wait. Give me your hand. It's for good luck. I don't believe in luck. I do. So Dina's gonna be out of the picture for a while. I mean, she could be our oracle. She could be the okay, girl in the chair. Is this the right place? Definitely the right place. Uh, yeah. It's gotta be Tommy. Shit. Exploring time. Okay, things back in track. Back on track.
another one of these. No, thank you. Won't join. I mean, if they didn't know what Ellie looked like, maybe it would be a good idea to fake join them. To disrupt them from the inside. Fuck the WOF. What are you writing? What do I do here? How do I... We just started... I shouldn't have said that to her. She's gonna treat me... Uh, she's gonna treat me differently now. I know it. I wish my mask didn't fucking break. When did she figure out that she was pregnant? Where were we a couple weeks ago? Boys, I remember her throwing up in uh, Kennewick. This is too much. Uh, it'll fucking make sense. The throwing up, how tired she's been. What the fuck, Dina? Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you trust me? Why did you trust her? What should I do? It's too late to turn back. Just gotta end this thing as quickly as possible. Well... This has really put things into a complete conundrum. We can't just turn back, because that would mean abandoning Tommy here. And we can't send her back alone, that would not be safe. And pushing forward is just going to get harder and harder with the pregnancy coming along. So yeah, the real solution is just to end this as soon as possible, which is not gonna happen. Boris, Wolves broke into Fedra HQ and found the enlisted uh, roasters. I've heard they're starting to knock on doors looking for soldiers. I'm not gonna be executed in my own town. After things calm down, I'll try to return with a new name. I couldn't find Alfie and put his foot on your back porch. In case I don't come back, give him lots of scratches from me. He always loved you and Sophia, Yolanda. Boris, what did we get ourselves into? The wolves were supposed to make things better. The military hoarded all the resources, controlled what we said, told us what job to do, and so far the wolves are doing the exact, the same exact thing. And now they are talking about moving everyone to the stadium? What? I grew up in this town. I survived the outbreak in this town. I'm not moving to some refugee camp where some asshole tells me when I, when I can or can't wipe my own ass. This is my home. We need a plan. We can't settle for the same thing, will we? So here the sorcerer. A decorated war hero, Sahir was a Kuwaiti combat medic known for his courage and fire and a selfless attitude. After saving a mysterious old man from an airstrike, they gifted Sahir a small gold talisman. Much to his surprise, the talisman granted Sahir the ability to manipulate sand. Now Sahir uses his newfound power to shield his allies, creating temporary yet impregnable fortresses out of sand. And when he teams up with Cal Candelabra, deadly shards of glass. That's always welcome.
Oh, hey. Ugh, gross. Fall on everything. See my sand trail? Seriously? How do I conceal that? I hate these small groups. Big groups, it's a straight fight. These loners, they could be hiding anywhere. I hear you. Let's find him and get back home. Oh no, no. <laughs> Don't make me do that. Come on! Come on now! You're I don't wanna. No. Okay. You I don't mind killing so much. Jesus! Okay, we gotta do something about a dog. How am I supposed to break the descent? Sorry, doggy. She went that way. <sighs> I hate to have to kill puppies. Desperate times. Must be in that building because <laughs> this one is not clear. Report in, people. Anyone got good news for me? There's nothing over here. Shit. She gonna see me. Of course she won't. Whatever the case. I'm gonna have to try to 
kill the doggies. What are those surreptitiously? <sighs> I'm going to hell. I mean, I was going to hell anyway for a number of reasons. Let's just add this to the list. Store's empty. Right here. Oh, are you kidding me? Go around, get the side. No, I'm committing to it. They don't die easily. Come on now. Whip her out! I see you. Motherfucker! Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, let's talk about this. Where are they shooting me from? Aha. Uh -huh. Got you now. No, you don't. There we go. Okay. I think there was a health kit somewhere around here. I could use that now. So now that we are Officially a puppy killer. How do we get around this without killing them though? There's gotta be a way. This place looks like it's torched. Hey, Red Barrows. Gamer's good friend. I'm thinking that door paint is painted red so it can draw my attention and subtly tell me that that's the direction to go, but I could be wrong about that. A lock and a barricade. That thing's gonna slide down. Fuck. Anybody hear that? And we are. 
are going to be using it to get to where exactly? Up there? Come on, just a little bit more. Whoa! That worked. Hey there. What the is this? Some kind of bomb? Trap mice explode when enemies get near them. Cool. I'm gonna lay some traps. Okay, let's uh, upgrade the fire rate of the revolver. Cause I really like using the revolver. In case you haven't noticed. Whoa! Uh, not good. Yeah, that's why I said not good. See meeting you here. I was just thinking about you. Hmm, they do sound really close for some reason. Oh my god. Oh they they heard me? Or something? Oh shit. I don't know if I can do this. Oh my god, that is a painful death. But hey, we know. Shambles release clouds of corrosive gas that deal damage over time. I can see that. That's why I'm getting this stuff ahead of time. See, I'm smart. Okay. We're gonna block both entrances. Is that how it's gonna be? 
that's gonna have to be we're gonna have a minor problem of me accusing you guys as assholes and you guys don't like me for that oh he walked away Okay, just do it slowly and steadily. We're gonna get out of this. <laughs> Anybody on the second floor? Is that Napoleon? I think this is a daycare. I wonder if Ellie knows what a daycare is. Outdoor sports. The issue 15 hunting rifle scopes reviewed and rated. Oh, this is actually going to be a tutorial. Look, at least it's going uh, or an enhancer more likely. How to find amazing deals? Upgrade branch precision. Whoa. Improve aiming stability. Well, I can't. I don't have enough to learn any of that. Things prepared. Can't get me assholes. Is that Tommy? <sighs> That's where I'm going. Okay, sir, if you could just uh, casually maintain that direct direction, I think I can help you <coughs> with death. Wooly, you know our hearts will always be with Hillcrest, but after Sophia's shooting, we've decided to head to the stadium with the others. We've got our own kids to think about. The Brandmans. P.S. Sobor is a couple hours ago. We tried talking to him, but it seemed off. Please talk to him. I hope you guys will join us. So the UFL, UFL, the Wolves, they took everybody to the stadium. Well, that's where we're going. I guess they set up a... I don't know, a mass camp? Okay. Ah, oh, there are more of them. But I don't think I don't think they're getting out. They're trapped in that uh, auto repair shop. I don't know. Am I am I gonna set them free? I don't know if I want to. I can though.
Okay, this is a bad idea. Oh, that just happened. Okay. Keep focused. Get up that hill. Don't know yet. Actually, what do I have? They've been locked in here for years. Is there any clue for the safe? Maybe one of these posters. Yeah, I don't see one. <sighs> Not another one. Yes, another one. <laughs> Get out in the open. Oh, God. What is wrong with those things? box yo when Dale comes by he's gonna ask for the safe combo but just walk over to the garage and put it in yourself otherwise it's gonna bother you eight more times the combo is 30 80 to 65 someone needs to talk to his wife I know she wants to think it's gonna get better but it's time to get practical I heard that WLF have some real doctors at the base nobody would blame her for leaving except Boris but fuck him 30 80 to 65 okay Good. 
Oh, I'm gonna get a extension. Hey, hey, hey! And a ton of ammo. This, this safe is so worth it. I'm very happy with it. It's time to move, get moving. Uli, it was Boris. Saw him shoot that WLF patrol against your own van. Jesus, I get it. They killed his daughter, but he just signed our death warrant. We have one chance out of this. We turn him in. I know he's your friend, but if those wolves shot that girl over some graffiti, think of what they would do to us if they think we're harboring the killer of their, uh, three of their own. Let's meet at the usual place after curfew. X. It's open civil war, I guess. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Just in case. Ooh, I still need a bow. That would be nice. I would very much like one. Well, Tommy, that? what the hell are you doing? Oh shit! Hope you did that, Tommy. 